Here we're starting off with some kneeling grappling. Now, each student has been given one technique to use only. So, one will be, well, one has been given uh, chancery or blood choke, and the other has been given the double wrist lock to do. Now, it looks messy, but it's a very, very tiring exercise, and it's an extremely um, hard exercise. It's strength building, and it helps you to deal with the rough and tumble of people grabbing hold of you while still while trying to apply your own technique. All the while you're doing this, you're becoming more and more tired and you're having to push through that barrier to carry on and to just try and apply the one technique you've been given. Right though, and they're not worrying about anything else that presents, just the one technique and there it is. Chancery. And here we are teaching the students how to enter from an, a punching attack to launch their own punching attack into a vital area and then lift and throw um, a person. So here I am demonstrating just to show the um, series of movements. Of course, this is the first time they've done this exercise, so it won't go perfect, but everyone has to start somewhere but it's a very good exercise not only for learning to evade but also to to move properly and there we go um, they're allowing it they're letting each other down softly really because they don't really want to injure their opponent although my instructions are to throw them reasonably good because although the floor is hard it's concrete with the um, hard tile on top if you're gonna train for self-defense then you need to hit the floor hard you need to take the the knocks the hard knocks that come with this kind of um, training and we're going on now to a kicking technique it's an evade and then kick which is a very very good way to um, Keep your distance, and but still stay within range to apply a technique like that. Now applying kicking techniques, especially to the rib area, the bread basket, the solar plexus, is a very very good technique, especially if you can use a rear leg kick and gather all your power into it. And using the point of the toe also into the inside of the knee, or just above the knee, into that vital area. Very very painful. And we're moving on again here, um, stopping the technique, coming in, using the head to head butt, and then putting the knee into the perennial nerve. And we have a different angle here from a different camera. And here I am demonstrating once more, coming in with the head, coming in with the that knee to that perennial nerve. Okay, and here we are doing the, a single leg takedown and then followed by um, more evasion and kicking into the vulnerable midsection. And we're using and kicking at distance because, as you know, distance is king, and if you can maintain the distance, it's good. And back to the head buttoning with the knee technique. And then a single leg takedown again, followed by a really good leg lock. And as you can see, um, going in with that single leg takedown again, and here we are. Um, this is where I instructed the students to go in absolutely full power and try and cave in the uh, student's chest so that they can avoid quicker. There's nothing like pain to teach you proper technique. And, and not only that, you learn quicker. When you know you're going to get hurt, you learn quicker. And here I am just demonstrating why it's a bad idea to try and you tie both your hands up by trying to pull someone because you'll get hit. 
and there I am demonstrating just moving slightly offline to avoid a punch but I will, I'll still be in range whereas the opponent is not in range because of the angle of the footwork and as I explain I continue to show how the footwork works and moving on to the student showing that same footwork and with retaliatory techniques once the footwork has taken you out of the way although the, I'm demonstrating the robotic thing that I've just seen and I want the flow of punches to be quick and here we are demonstrating um, how to move in, catch a round kick and staying in very close keeping the person whose leg is up moving constantly backwards while you're putting in elbows and heads just demonstrating there uh, what can happen when you catch it from long distance but from a close distance you put your head down continually keep the person moving putting elbows into the chest solar plexus and using your head to go in and hit with And all the while explaining, and, and this exact time that you're looking at, I've asked the person to grab the head and try and do something with the head and neck. But you'll find that because your head's in so close, and your neck is, and you stiffen your neck, and you continue to keep the person on the move, all the while hitting and head by in and elbow in, you'll see that you'll be able to take the person back and down like you just saw. And now demonstrating that you only have to move slightly, even against the hardest straight punch. Just move slightly out of the way, you can stay in range and still really, really hurt the person. Here I'm explaining what happens when you put your head in too close. You can be grabbed and things can be done. But here, when I stay at the proper distance and posture, I'm well within range and well, within, well able to attack. And just demonstrating once again about the kick and how if you're at the wrong range it can go against you or so I'm in bang 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 and I'm gonna keep the person on the move hit him with the head and the elbows all the time go up, keeping him moving backwards moving backwards moving backwards down moving backwards yes and just demonstrating and getting the person to try and grab the head and the neck and to try and do something. All the while you're hitting or punching into the groin, into the uh, ribs, into the solar plexus, um, all the while keeping the person on the move. When a person is on the move, hopping backwards on one leg, it's reasonably difficult for them to try and get you um, crank your neck or anything else really. And here we go, down, straight away. Brilliant technique. Okay, what, here I'm demonstrating the technique of stomping on the, the side of the knee to snap the leg. But obviously I've asked the student to turn his leg so that it takes him down uh, safely. Here we go. Boom. And then a, a hard hammer straight to the base of the skull to finish. I'm pushing down. Boom, the leg's broke. Here we go. Smash. Boom. Here we go. That's the one, snap, bang. Just demonstrating once more to get the proper technique and smash. There we go. Boom, bang. And still demonstrating, uh, same technique. You're covering up because you're not expecting the grab or the hit. So you're just covering up and here we are, scraping down the shin, stomping onto the instep go into a neck crank and straight into the crucifix that's the one and then throw the person down and either hold them or carry on hurting them stomp crank crucifix